Okay, we have uh, uh, the question of 2015, May, June, paper 1, 2, and the question number is 15. It says that a uniform solid block, so let's uh, focus on the word, which is uniform here, has a weight of 500 newtons, so that means the weight of the body is equal to 500 newton, and it's also equal to m into g. Its uh, width is uh, 0 0.4 meters, as shown here, with 0 0.4 and the height is 0 0.6 meters which is shown here it rests on the edge of a step so this is the step and this is the edge of a depth of 0 0.8 meters so this is the depth of 0 0.8 meters uh, <coughs> so then the block is knocked over so we have knocked it from here knocked over the edge of the step and it rotates through so initially it was like this then it becomes somewhat like this so this is how it uh, it rotates through 90 degree uh, before coming to rest with uh, the 0 0.6 meter this is now becomes horizontal so it rotates through 90 degree and uh, this becomes horizontal we have to find what is the change in the gravitational potential energy of the block so we need to find delta p e equal to and the formula for this should be equal to mg into delta h. So we have to find the change in the height of the uh, body when it falls and also uh, rotates through 90 degree. Now had it fallen like this, fallen like this, we simply can could have done mg into 0 0.8 because the change of height is simply 0 0.8 for every portion. But here it has rotated through 90. So that's why we have to find what is the change of the height of the center of gravity of this body. So let's say when it was like this, the CG was somewhere here. So this height will be, so since it is 0 0.6 meters, this height will be, will be, will be 0 0.3 meters. Assuming that the body is uniform and the CG will be exactly at the center. So similarly, here, the CG will be somewhere here, somewhere here, and this height will be 0 0.2 meters, because it is 0 0.4 meters. So that means, now, the, we can say that effectively, the body has fallen from here, from here till here. So this gives the delta H, and it should be equal to, this is 0 0.3, it's already here. Now we need to find this thing. We need to find the distance from here to here. Since this is 0 0.8 and since this is 0 0.2, this height should be equal to, this height should be equal to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2. So equal to 0 0.6 meters. So this is 0 0.6. And from here to here, we have, we have, we have, it is 0 0.3 meters. So the total change in height is equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 equal to 0 0.9 meters. So therefore, the change in P will be equal to mg is simply 500 into, this is 0 0.9 and that's equal to, so it should be, 95 is 45, so it should be 450 joules, which is in choice number, choice number C. So, choice number C should be the correct answer.